Welcome back everybody. This is Mike with Door and Lock Tips and tonight we're going to be talking about the Shim Ninja or the Finger Saver. This little tool and you can get it from CLK Supply. Look at that. What a nice little tool and it comes with 25 shims but why I'm bringing this up is there is a problem with shims. They can hurt you. And I've seen some videos on this, how to shim properly. And, you know, we know how to shim. So I'm talking the audience that knows how to shim. But for how much? For the, I'm going to call it the Shim Ninja. It's only $14.99, guys, of paradise. You won't cut yourself. You know, cuts hurt. And if you're out pinning up locks and, and you have to shim out some of these locks and you push too hard on this shim while you're doing the job, you're going to cut yourself. So let's take a look at this thing. It's a beautiful little tool. It's $15. There's a, there's a dowel. It's a, it's a metal dowel. And that, that would cost $15 if you just turned to buy that thing. And this shim just fits. They come with 25 shims, by the way. And you always want to get these. Not straight shims. You want to buy these tight. Now, I, I buy them personally from the company called Lab. So I buy 25 shims from Lab. This one's 100 pack. But you can get them in 25 pack. Doesn't matter. However you like to buy them. But I think Lab shims are the best. Uh, I put them in all my my uh, pinning kits because you got to have some of these. And yes, they'll last forever. I may never have to buy another another shim because you know, unless I I lose them or something or or I don't use the shim ninja. Now let's let's look at this thing. So it has a dowel. And how I found best to use it, this little part tightens onto the dowel this little screw so you slide this dowel in i i find you put the shim on the dowel then you just slide <laughs> kind of hard to get it together okay you slide this bad boy the little dowel just slide it see how it's taking the shim along with it don't try pushing the shim in there and then just go ahead and tighten it up. Now, I may have the dowel out a little too far. But let's, let's pull it and let's get it straight. All right, now, got the dowel in. So th the tool's set up. So I got a box of knockoff LSDA uh, SC1 cylinders. And I'm going to pick, there's no setup on this, guys, okay? I haven't played with any of these cylinders just to show you you know, some phony shimming world. But here's a nice little cylinder, okay? And it's it's already pre-keyed. That's the best way to buy them. Let's just see how she works. Oh, it works beautiful. Now, if you don't have the key, which is already numbered, there's the, the key number on that. So these little LSDAs are okay. These cylinders are nice. But already preset, they, I bought them pinned up from the factory. You know what I'm talking about. And they're pretty good cylinders. Now, use your, this is $119.81 worth of heaven. It's called the Kedex Spin Out. Buy the tool. If you buy a few tools, you won't have problems wrecking stuff. So I'm, I have to take this off just to show you how this works. So I'm pretending that I don't have a key. I've got my Shim Ninja. They should have called it that, Shim Ninja. I mean, I would have. It looks like a ninja. So you got your blade there, sharp as a razor, by the way. Okay, and you can get these in different varying thicknesses. So you want to get the paper thin ones. Let's just see well, how much these shims cost, you know, because this website's really good. So, so right here, if I wanted to buy shims from them, they're extra thin. And guess how much? 
$5.99. So that people worry all about wrecking your shims. They're pennies. Who cares if you bend a shim? I'm just concerned about cutting myself wide open. You know, you cut your finger and then the rest of the day is kind of wrecked. So who wants to have a Band-Aid on their finger or sore infection getting in there? So you take the spit out, right? This is a cool little tool. I love this thing. All right, you, and you just remove the screws, see? You just easily, nicely, beautifully is square and it, you can unscrew your little screws because the tailpiece has to come off for the shim to go in. All right, so we, we spin out the screws. Oh, this is such a cool tool. It's all weighted. This has a great weight to it. Nice little bronze, little bushing there. All rubber on the bottom. I buy all these tools myself, just so you know. I'm not getting promoted here. All right, now, look at this. I'm gonna take off the next little screw. I'm not messing around with the little screwdriver. All right, so we're going to set these beauties aside. I'm going to take off the standard tailpiece. Now, even in this LSDA knockoff world, look at I've got I got another tailpiece hiding down in there. They give you two tailpieces. I've removed the screws. Now I'm going to do some shimming. So you got to have a bunch of your little, you should throw these in your pinning kits. Put a blank in there so you have it. So I, I stick in the non-cut raw key and does not turn this cylinder. Can't turn it. All right, so if I don't have a key, I have to use a shim. So I'm going to get my shim ninja out. Watch how cool this is. Now you gently stick it in. I can feel the pin right in front of me right now. So I have to move the key back to allow that pin. I have to hold it. I don't want to bend nothing. But look at how cool this is. Just, I'm not going to cut myself. So I pull the, pull the key back. And I have to maybe slide it forward a little bit. Oh, I'm through one pin. Oh, this is such a difficult job. It can be if you don't have that shim ninja. All right, I'm, I'm going to slide this forward again. Oh, got through another pin. Ooh, cool. Isn't this fun stuff? Oh, you just got through another one. Look at how, look at how we're getting closer with the shim ninja. I'm sticking in the belly of the, of the lock. Sticking my blade in. Oh, I think we're through. Not yet. I got one more pin. All right. Let's just pull it out. Look at I'm almost there. Oh, I feel it click. And looky here. We're turned. I don't want to pull that out. So I'm all the way through, guys. Look at this. I shimmed through. And I did it with a tool that has a terrible name. Let's look at the tool that has a terrible name. We'll go backwards here. The name of this tool is Shim Holder. Who names a tool Shim Holder? I guess old school, but you know, I'm going to rename it the Shim Ninja. What a cool tool. Buy this tool. Get it from CLK Supply. Oh, I'm running my battery low. Get it from CLK Supply. You need this tool. Buy it and get some shims along with it. And you know, it's not a sin to bend some shims. So, so big deal you bend some shims. But notice, I walked through that cylinder like it was nothing. So most cylinders, you know, unless you have a, a killer Medico system. Medico is, you know, all biaxial or, or nice, right? You might not be able to shim them very easy. But this stuff, like LSDA, you know, it's a good little cylinder, but I walked right through it. And that's how, I, now I can pull out, I can run a follower in here, and I can pull out the plug and repin the thing. Otherwise, how would I have done it? 
So put some of these little blanks in. Go buy yourself this killer 11981. Of course, I did get it on sale. I think I only paid 80 bucks or 60 bucks for it. So you wait for a sale. Sign up to UHS Supplier and CLK Supply, Annexter, and wait for sales. You get these killer tools and buy the Shim Ninja. You will save your fingers. Look, I didn't cut myself. I didn't bend this thing. I didn't wreck it. All because I have a $15 tool in my possession. Buy three or four of them. Throw them around in your truck, in one of your little pinning kits, maybe in every pinning kit. You can afford to do that. You know, if, if one's good, five is better. That's my suggestion. So the tip of the day, buy the Shim Ninja. It's called the, really, let's get the real name. It's, it's called Shim Holder. That's not as cool. Shim Ninja, I like. And get this tool and buy this little Keydex spin out. Get some real, real shims. Get a, get a pile of them. Throw them in every pinning kit you have. And you don't even have to practice. Okay, now, you saw, I just talking away, and, and I walked right through all those pins. And there was no setup on it. May, oh, make sure you have some blanks in your pinning kit. So there's my tip for tonight. I hope you enjoyed the show, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell. Crash it. Crash it. Tell your friends. And I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming in the future. The Shim Ninja. All oh, to the rescue. No cut fingers. Thanks, guys. Keep coming back. I hope you guys are having as much fun as I am having just making these videos. You know, where do you see these tools? They're all at your supplier, but if you don't know them, if you don't see them, you don't see them in action, you won't buy them, and you'll be cutting your fingers from here on out. Please subscribe to my channel, tell your friends, and I'll have more door and lock tips like this coming in the future. Thank you.